Brittany is closed on July 13th, 2023. As always, we'll start with our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions. And today, even though it's not the weekend, I'd like you to take another look at the longer term picture. I take things a day at a time. This is my call for tomorrow, the 14th of July, 2023. Remember, my calls can be wrong. Any trade you make should be made at your own risk. Also, I was busy all evening, and although I like the calls I'm going to make today, I spent less time than I normally do. Well, we had the economic report coming out today, and I said that my uh, Ability to predict what happens on those days lacked the accuracy of my other predictions, so I hated to say anything. What I did say was that the equity only put call ratio hit an extremely low, an extremely low level, and this usually comes near a top, but there wasn't a precise timing indicator, and we could still go higher tomorrow. I said we had to I said we had to gap over yesterday's high or any rally should retrace. Well, we gapped over yesterday's high, but we continued up. And even though this is the pattern with the early high and should lead to lower prices, usually it was positive, and that should lead to higher prices printing tomorrow. Of course, the whole thing gets killed if we gap take this low out early. But this should lead to, to, um, to higher prices printing tomorrow. It doesn't mean we hit a new high, and it doesn't mean that we close higher. That's in conflict with a lower MJT target of 44.9581, which should print tomorrow. And because we have conflicting signals, we'll use the mixed signals rules. Um, Unless we gap up smartly, my call for tomorrow was 44.9581. Now, after a year and three months, we get to cross the MJT target off the list. That's 45.14.27 from April 8th of last year. At the end of last year, we were in the 3800s. I had 10 MJT targets. Uh, most of them were much higher. I said by the end of 2023, we should see all or most of these targets print. It's been about uh, six and a half months and we've printed six out of the ten targets, so we seem to be right on track. This is how well the system has done. We get about 650 targets a year have 150 ultimate targets. One of them hasn't printed from last year. Get about 500 standard targets. Only three of them haven't printed. Well, I felt confident in saying we go higher this year because this was such a statistical outlier, such a statistical outlier in terms of how many unfilled targets they were. We now have a situation where we have, I think, seven unfilled MJT targets from 2023, lower targets. And uh, that's getting to be too many for me. I think at some point we're going to have to have a correction. Well, during the day, MJT said ultimately higher price it would print. They certainly did. Here, to ultimately higher price it would print, which they did, but it said it's a false move. We're going to undercut this price and we're going to hit 44.9581. And if we don't uh, gap up smartly, that's my call for tomorrow. Well, this is the monthly DeMarc count. The blue is what I use for the sequential, the green for the combo. We had a sequential sell signal at the end of last month. These things aren't precise indicators, but they indicate price areas where the market is overextended. That's the monthly chart. This is the daily chart. We printed number 12 today. And unless we, get, unless we have a huge gap down tomorrow, 
bring the print bar 13 tomorrow, and that could finish early. And that would put the daily and monthly sequential cell signals in alignment with each other, and they both occur at the same time. Now, because it takes well over a year for the monthly signal to, to generate, it, it takes around two years plus, these things can only happen at the same time, a few years in a decade at the most. So even though his stuff hasn't been as reliable as I'd like it tops, this is a very black swan occurrence. You don't get these things in alignment very often. We also have something here. This bar is almost completely over the upper Bollinger Band. It's not usually a good time to institute new long positions. Well, this was the chart we showed a number of times. He said we had to gap over this line for the rally to continue. This is a weekly chart, so you can't see a gap on the daily over the line. But I think we got one. We now have hit this line, and it's the same thing. Either gap over the line, or the line wins. So if we don't gap over this and move over this, we'll retrace. Well, this has been the count I've been using for a long time. Still is a valid count, and we're looking for this to be red too. The higher this goes, the more funny, the more unesthetic the count looks. Doesn't break any rules. Might still be the right count, but it's hard to count this as impulse as part of a wave three without seeing a three-wave structure for wave two, and that's not enough to convince me. So let's take a look at the longer-term picture. Well, this is how we're counting it, and I still think this low is going to hold, and I still think we're going to new highs before this is, is over. The one thing, I've had a, the one thing I've had a question mark on is this we had this wave one. What if this is the low price of wave C, but it's just subwave A of wave C, and that's B, and we have C of C coming up? Then how would you count this? Well, that would have to be an ABC pattern, and if that's the right count, which we don't know, C is equal to A right here. So if this wasn't the end of wave C, but just A of C, this could be B of C with C of C coming up. This count, not the only count, suggests we hit a, a high today at the same time that the DeMarc stuff gave cell signals in alignment and at the same week where we had the equity only put call ratio hit an extremely low level associated with tops and at the same time we hit this trend line. If that's right, which we don't know yet, but if that's right, we're going to see this price and a lot more on the downside before we're done. If this holds, we could see some of those seven lower MJT targets print before the rally resumes, which is not what I've been thinking. Signals are mixed. Friday's pattern has a really high. We could still gap down. It's positive. Today's normally bearish pattern wasn't. It was bullish. It should lead to a higher price printing tomorrow, regardless of how we close. But it's negative. We have a lower MJT target. Unless we get up smartly, there will say it prints. A number of very unusual things have happened this week. Barring a strong gap and down tomorrow, we'll be bar 13 over the marked sequential cell signal on the daily, and that will occur in alignment with a monthly cell. This can only occur a few times every decade at the most. The equity only put call ratio printed at an extremely low level, indicating excessive 
bullish feelings by option players. NASDAQ McClellan oscillator hit its upper Bollinger Band. The reversal gives us sell. We rallied to, but not through a major trend line. Either we gap over the line or the line wins, meaning moves over, it won't stick. Two highly skilled traders each told me individually and in advance using different systems that today marked a high in their timing systems. These are highly skilled traders and I listen to them when they impart information to me. I like to learn from other people. So we have price, sentiment and timing indicators all being compatible with this being an area of a top of significance and the wave count we showed today agrees with that. Bulls need to clear today's high convincingly, ideally by capping over it to keep the rally going. That's a lot of stuff right at this level. Not to mention that there's resistance over the MJT target. All saying this might hold. In fact, one possibility is we go up a little and then promptly undercut, undercut this low. But even though it seems incredible, it's possible we gap and take this low out fast. It's possible we even, possible we even gap under it. Doesn't mean it has to play out that way. But if all those negative things play out, it certainly can't be ruled out. So this is a time for the market to fish or cut bait. And uh, this is highly suspicious for being a top of significance. We won't know till we get some confirmation on the downside, but uh, that could well work. Tomorrow has the early high, but I don't like this action for the reasons I've said, and that's today's call.